Hello, your Crypto Crane friends here. This video is a straightforward compare and contrast investigation between the Antminer S9 series and the newly released S9i series. We'll put the 13 terahash per second, 13.5 terahash per second, and 14 terahash per second models from each series through a head to head evaluation to determine just how different the new line is from the previous one. Let's go! So, quick background story. The S9 series was released in June of 2016 in batches that have varied over the years from 11.5 terahash per second to 14 terahash per second. However, in May of 2018, Bitmain released the S9i series, which of course means the S9 series miners are now nothing more than dust in the wind. Right? But how different are these new miners from the old ones, you're probably wondering. Well, fortunately, that's exactly what this video aims to find out. Before we get started, one quick clarifying detail. To make things easy on everyone, most importantly me, I'll be referring to the two different minor groups as the S series and the I series. Technically, the I series should probably be called the SI series, but constantly referring to the S series and the SI series and going back and forth between the two of them will very quickly get confusing and burdensome for all of us. So S series and I series it is. Now that everyone's on the same page, on with the show. For the sake of examining the differences between the S series and the I series, we'll be focusing on the wattage each miner consumes, as of course the balance between mining capability and the cost of the electricity powering the miner is really the key element in determining a miner's profitability. It's worth mentioning that these miners are all connected to the same circuit, which kicks out just over 233 volts. The amperage you'll see with your own setup will depend, of course, on your circuit's voltage. Remember, watts are the most important metric we're looking at, since watts equals volts times amps. After we look at all six miners, we'll do a breakdown of the power consumption differences between each model in both the S series and I series. First up is the S series 13 terahash per second miner. Regarding wattage, it's using just about 1,326 watts. And you'll see voltage is holding steady at just a bit over 233. Amps coming in at 5 and 3 quarters. Now let's look at how the i-series 13 terahash per second miner compares. Wow, right out of the gate there's a significant difference. It's pulling about 1,272 watts, over 50 watts less than its S-series predecessor. Phew. Thank you, Stannis. Voltage is pretty standard. And as for amperage, the i-series 13 uses just about a quarter amp less at this voltage than its predecessor, coming in at just over 5.5 amps. Certainly a normal level of variation. Next, the S-series 13.5 terahash per second miner. Looks like it pulls almost the exact same wattage as the 13 terahash per second miner, right around 1,322 watts. Voltage 2 is basically the same, just a shade over 233. Amps are, again, holding steady at a shade under 5 and 3 quarters. But how does its I-series counterpart compare? Let's see. The 13.5 terahash per second I-series model pulls about 1300 watts, a decrease of about 20 from what its S-series counterpart consumes. Voltage is, not to sound like a broken record, almost the exact same, 233 and change. And although there's a dip of roughly 7 hundredths of an amp, that's not really anything to write home about. Last, but certainly not least, the 14 terahash per second miners, starting, of course, with the S-series model. From the top, the 14 terahash per second miner consumes around 1,370 watts, a noticeable uptick from the 13 and 13.5 models. Voltage, again, is holding steady right around 233 volts. Amps used comes in at almost 6, again, nothing that unusual. With benchmarks like that, it would be easy to assume that the updated version of the 14 terahash per second miner would yield some considerable efficiency gains. Does the assumption pan out? Or will our assumptions turn us all into asses? To the footage we go! Oh, if only I were a betting man! Right out of the gate, we hit pay dirt. The i-series 14 uses only 1,266 watts, a full hundred less than the s-series 14. That's a huge improvement in the power consumption to mining capability ratio. Huge shocker! 
pun intended. Volt's holding steady at just over 233. And the amps, let's see. It pulls just about 5.5 amps, which, again, is a completely normal variation. So there we have it. Let's recap the big differences between the trio of S-series and I-series miners. For the 13 terahash per second models, the biggest difference is in the wattage. The I-series model pulls about 50 fewer watts than the S-series miner. For the 13.5 terahash per second miners, the specs were pretty similar across the board, meaning the 13.5i model showed the least improvement over its S-series counterpart. If you were someone who enjoyed reading between the lines, you could take that to mean it's not worth upgrading to this particular model, and that only the 13 and 14 terahash I-series models come with a significant difference. Speaking of the 14 terahash models, the I-series miner consumes almost 100 fewer watts than the S-series, making it the clear winner of the three. At this point, some of you may be pulling out your hair and screaming, but what about the speed? Tell us what the speed is! Very reasonable request, but not much to deliver. There's no noticeable difference in terahashes per second between the S-series and I-series miners, and it appears Bitmain's primary objective with creating the I-series was to specifically reduce power draw. Though there is one noteworthy difference that the entire I-series brings to the table. On all three models, the fans run at a much more consistent rate than the S-series models. You know how the S-series miners wind up and wind down regularly? You won't get any of that with the I-series units. Once they reach a temperature equilibrium, their fans run at a consistent speed indefinitely. That could mean, and this is pure speculation as only time will tell, that the I-series miners will last longer and have fewer maintenance or breakdown issues than the S-series models. So both in terms of the number and scope of the differences between the S-series and I-series models, it's easy to see that the biggest improvements have been made with the 14 terahash per second miner. Thanks for watching! And of course, be sure to subscribe to our channel, as we have new videos coming out all the time.